Hi, it's Josh Goldberg here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about something called narcissist switching. I'm going to tell you about what narcissist switching is, some common examples of switching, why the narcissist does this behavior of switching and how it will affect you. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the most effective way to deal with it. Switching is when the narcissist suddenly drops the facade of the counterfeit relationship and they show you their true self and their true motives. It is when the narcissist switches the nature of the relationship into something that hasn't been spoken about and and something that you haven't agreed to. Here are some common examples of switching. Someone who has been a friend and they unexpectedly try and switch the relationship into a sexual relationship. Or maybe the boss at work that unexpectedly tries to switch the relationship into a romantic one without speaking about it with you first. Switching can also happen in your spousal relationship. An example of this is when your partner switches from being the loving partner into the entitled victim and then they treat you like a bad person. Remember, a healthy relationship doesn't change in its nature. Even with the normal ups and downs of a relationship, a healthy relationship relationship stays the same in its nature. A major red flag of a toxic relationship is when it is not stable and turbulent. So why does a narcissist do this behavior of switching anyway? The narcissist will usually switch on you after they have groomed you into the counterfeit relationship and tied you into their manipulated fan group, also known as the flying monkeys. Once the narcissist has isolated you from your supportive people and tied you into their group of manipulated fans, this is when the narcissist will switch on you and show you their true abusive self. Switching is how the narcissist implements their abuse, which validates their self-fantasy narrative. When the narcissist switches on you, it will certainly cause some unpleasant emotions such as shock, confusion, and anger. It is a very difficult position to be in because everyone else has been convinced that the narcissist is amazing and righteous. You can also feel isolated, lonely, trapped, and anxious. Talking about what is going on to anyone that is associated with the narcissist is certainly not a good idea. These manipulated people will often try and deny what you're saying and even try and coerce you back into conformity into the narcissist grandiose self-fantasy narrative. So if you have found yourself in this difficult position, please reach out to someone on the outside of the situation and someone that is not associated with the narcissist. Choose someone to talk to that is emotionally available and has experience in the area of narcissist abuse relationships. If you have experienced something like this in the past, please feel free to share in the comments below if you are comfortable. If you want more of this type of informative content, please subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. Take care of yourself and stay gold.